Hello friends, I'm Pratik Harnegar. I recently got recommended from 12SSB Bangalore for SSC Observer course to join the Indian Navy. And today I would be telling you about my experience in SSB and also how the how you should proceed to face SSB, what you should do and not do in SSB. So starting with the day one, as soon as you report to the SSB, you are asked for the document verification. So after that, you are processed for the screening test. So in screening test, there are two phases. Number one is the OIR, which is the Officer Intelligence Rating Test. And number two is the PPDT, the Picture Perception and Discussion Test. So in OIR, there are basically two tests. You will be asked to do, do them uh, as soon as your test starts. So the OIR test will basically depend on the figures, patterns, dices, sequences and other analytical questions. This test is totally of the aptitude and this test is basically to judge how a candidate would require would react when he has a time constraints and how many problems he is able to solve in that time constraint. So for practicing this test, you can go to internet and you can type India VIX and in that India VIX site, there are different questions not only regarding to this analytical skill, the verbal, non-verbal and countless many streams are there. So you can go and practice from there and practicing half an hour daily would be sufficient for this for clearing this test. The value of OIR is approximately 20 to 30 percent in your whole screening procedure. Post that in your personal interview questionnaire form, there is a separate column in which OIR marks need to be listed. So that form goes directly to the interviewing officer and so basically if your OIR is good so you are at an edge as compared to the other candidates so uh, once you increase your speed there is no negative marking you can make sure that you fill all the particulars and all the uh, questions are solved by you you perform good in that test so that you get confidence in the upcoming test of picture and uh, picture perception and discussion so as I said, the second test will be picture perception and discussion test. In this test, as the name suggests, you will have to perceive a picture which will be shown to you. And then you will be discussing it with your candidate, with your group, the candidates in your group, and finally reaching a common conclusion. So what happens in the picture perception test is that, first of all, you will be shown a picture, a black and white figure in which there will be certain characters who will be engrossed in some work or maybe doing something and the picture will be shown to you for 30 seconds once the time collapses you will be asked to write a story revolving around that picture you should keep in mind that you don't need to write or discuss about the what is happening in the picture rather you need to write a story around it so many of the candidates do these types of mistakes that they just describe what is there in the picture rather than what is required in the in the story in the uh, test so once you have written the story you will be basically sent for the next test that is the discussion test so in discussion you will be made to sit in a semicircular fashion in this once your the chest number before you completes narrating his story you will be the next to narrate and the narration part is very very important before the discussion test the narration part will be carried on so you need to assure that you speak your story story flawlessly okay so if you forget the story after writing it or basically you don't remember the sequence in which the story was before the test they'll give you approximately two to three minutes to just go through the story you wrote so that you can just uh, brush up with it and it would be helpful for you in the narration part once your narration is done the student who follows you will be the narrating the story next and once all the group is finished with the narration part automatically the discussion test will begin so what do you need to do in the discussion is that your group needs to come to a common conclusion a common story so you should first assure that the discussion must go in a sequential manner so while you write the story in your picture perception test 
you should firstly observe the story very very well okay the time limit to uh, watch this picture is around 30 seconds in that 30 seconds you need to go through certain details for example the number of characters and the sex maybe gender of that character then comes the outfit part which is very very important that because certainly some people misjudge the people misjudge the characters of the uh, picture and because of their outfits so suppose if there is a doctor he'll be wearing a white coat you cannot say that he is a lawyer okay so you need to you know go with the common sense and the first thing which strikes you uh, in your mind after watching the picture that is the thing which you need to jot down in your paper so after that the after the outfit part you need to also judge the mood of the character whether the situation is serious or it's normal day to day situation or there's a crime scene so you need to judge the mood as well and all these things you have to narrate in the discussion test all uh, the assessors will be guiding you before the test so while discussing this sequence need to be taken care of that uh, because you have a uh, limited time to discuss approximately 15 minutes so you need to convince your uh, candidates the fellow candidates to uh, come to a common conclusion always remember that it is not a debate but a discussion so it's it doesn't matter that whether your story comes at last as the final story what matters is what how you are contributing to the group so you if you think that certain other people are there who have written better stories than you you can take up the story it's not a matter of pride or ego that will come in between rather you will be appreciated that you have certain dignity and certain cooperativeness that uh, you are going on with the group you are taking the group along and because of that your group will reach to a common story maximum groups are not able to finish the discussion part because uh, there is a fish market which just generates in there because of their non cooperation with the group so cooperativeness is very very important and you have to be very certain and crisp with your points that you make while discussing and they should be logical and they should revolve around the story give others a chance to speak as well and uh, don't make it a fish market as the officers are likely to send you out without any conclusion so once that test is done you will be getting the results and around 30 to 35 people uh, on an average get through the stage 1 after that you are asked to sit in a hall where you will be distributed the forms known as the piq forms so these piq forms this piq stands for personal interview questionnaire in this form they'll ask about your every minute details be it of your education background your hobbies your curriculum what all you have done in your life your family particulars and the sport activities you have done were you a part of ncc in any wing army navy or air force how many times you have attended the ssb before that and also some other things related to it so you need to be very very honest in filling that form so that you know it's very easy for the assessors to judge you so after that for you need to you know first keep in mind that there are two copies of this form which you will be asked to fill you, you need to be fast and also very very specific about what you fill and this copy one copy will go to the interviewer interviewing officer while the other copy will go to the psychologist so you need to be very very firm very particular about filling this form and no mistakes are pardoned if you fill the form you know in an incorrect manner so once your form is done then you you are asked to just take rest and the next day will be the day of psychological tests so you will be asked to report early in the morning when the test will start and there are generally four types of test in there number 1 is the tat the thematic perception test number 2 will be the wat word association test and the third one will be srt situation reaction test the fourth and the final test would be sdt which is the self description test so we'll go on to learn about each of the tests in detail so 
starting with the most important test which is the thematic perception test in this test this test resembles that procedure which you followed in the uh, PPDT except for in this test there will be 12 images which will be shown to you and in PPDT there was only one image which was shown to you so the timings are the same uh, you will be displayed the picture for around 30 seconds and you will be given a 4 minute window to write your story uh, revolving around it after that uh, after each story completes there is immediately flash of the next picture so there is no gap time gap between the two pictures so once you are done with the 11 pictures the 12th picture will be a blank slide so that blank slide is meant for you to imagine your story story of your choice and you can write down any story regarding to it so <clears throat> what you should be basically doing in this test is that whatever the first thought comes to your mind regarding it regarding the picture you should jot it down immediately without giving it a second thought anyways you won't be having any you know much time to just uh, manipulate the thoughts and write something else and if you do that it won't be beneficial for you because the psych will anyhow catch you catch the real picture out of you so you don't need to be dishonest in here whatever the first thought comes just go ahead with it and you should always remember that you should not re uh, neglect the stimulus. What I mean by that is, if a person is uh, climbing a rope at a night time, okay, so, and if he is breaking in in the house, so he is a thief. He is not an army officer who, who has come to, the, to his home and practicing. So you need to just get what is there in the picture and you should not just manipulate it or you know you should not neglect it so if the problem demands some serious solution and the problem is serious you should write about that serious problem you cannot say that there is a play going on in there and you just don't neglect the stimulus because this will be reflecting your inability to handle situations and that you run from tough situations that would reflect that so after that you you will be uh, processed to the next test which is the w80 also known as word association test so this word association test uh, will be to check how you uh, how fast are you in forging sentences and uh, your basically subconscious mind will be totally displayed on this paper in this test so what happens in this test is you will be shown around 60 words and each word will be shown to you for 15 seconds in that 15 seconds you need to just see the word you need to think of a sentence followed by writing us writing the sentence on the paper so there are different words normal they are normal words and not so tough words of english which are displayed in there for example pain so pain and strength all these words are very very common in there so you can uh, just go to the internet and you can practice it the main thing is that you should complete this test with every sentence completed you shouldn't leave any word okay. and this will be easily achieved as for, uh, as much as you practice so if you practice hard you will find that with uh, with coming time you will be able to jot down your responses very very quick and you don't need to just uh, write a big sentence about that word about uh, yes so you can go on with around eight words or less than that don't exceed the sentence uh, sentence limit the word limit for the sentence that is eight words so this is not uh, told in the instructions mind it I am just telling my experience that you shouldn't write a sentence more than eight words if you are you know not getting any idea then you can obviously go ahead with more than eight words but not in a general case try practicing it in such a pattern that the sentence should be crisp and meaningful after that will be the situation reaction test in which uh, there will be 60 situations which will be shown to you and you will be given a time of 30 minutes to solve all the situations 
unlike the previous two tests there is no certain specific time for every situation it will be a cumulative time of 30 minutes for all 60 situations so it depends on you whether you want to uh, how much time you want to spend on each situation so uh, ideally you, you try to complete all the situations again here the speed counts a lot so with practice you are you'll be you'll be very very able to handle the test uh, test in a in an appropriate manner the thing that you need to uh, know about this test is that it's based on normal situations which we face in the daily life and how you would deal with them is what they require require out of you so for example you're going to your tuition or your school and it starts raining so what will you do it's a very basic example uh, situations can be a little more tricky as well for example you're going on going to uh, some do some mountaineering activity or some trekking activity and one of your uh, colleagues maybe gets injured so what will you do so all these types of situations are there so you can handle them very very easily it's not a big deal you just go on to search on the internet and you can practice it so once your speed increases you are able to do more situations and you should at least go for minimum 50 50 or 45 situations so that won't be a problem if you do so now the final test will be the self description test the uh, sdt as you know it's very important test what you need to do in this test is that you need uh, you'll be given 15 minutes and you have to write five paragraphs okay so it every paragraph of around 40 50 words not more than that uh, so in each paragraph like first of all you have to begin with uh, telling what your uh, parents think about you Okay, so you need to write a paragraph about that around in around 50 words then what your parents think about you okay then third will be what your teachers think about you fourth will be what you think about yourself and finally uh, what you want to be and the kind of person you wish you want to be in, ahead in your life so all these paragraphs will basically show your qualities your shortcomings and you should be very very honest about you know filling this for this uh, test because what happens is this psych this psych test goes with the psychological officer also the remarks on these tests will go to the interviewing officer and all these qualities will be checked in each and every part of ssb you mention something in your sdt and you are not that they'll catch hold of you in one of the tests if you think that you are wearing that you know toughest shields to you know prevent yourself from getting caught then you're highly mistaken the assessors are highly experienced and they have the certain weapons for breaking that shield so you don't have to be dishonest you just be whatever you are and you shall be through after that is the gto the next day so the this was the second day and the third and the fourth day will be dedicated to the group tasks so GTO as you know group task officer this test is very very important and I think uh, the most important of all the testing procedures so and also the most time of your stay is dedicated to this test you will start in morning 7 around 7 the testing will begin and it will go on till 11 and 12 in the noon after that you will be free so in GTO there are two days days one day one and day two so in day one I will be telling you about the uh, what procedures are there and like what tests are there so starting with the first test on day one of GTO will be the group discussion test so in this test basically as the name suggests it's a normal discussion about certain topics and uh, you have already done discussion once in the PPDT it's the same kind of discussion it's not a debate so it's, the thing is that you need to be very very cooperative in this and you need to first uh, give respect to the fellow candidates you don't don't need to just uh, be dominating it will be a very very bad bad thing on your part and it would be a black mark on your assessing sheet as well so uh, the group discussion test will for, uh, will proceed as follows you will be given a certain a topic uh, you will be given uh, two topics actually and you in the first discussion there are two discussions in in this test so they are basically uh, the topics are related to current affairs okay 
generally international relations and uh, whatever is going on in the news for example in my discussion they asked me about the modern weaponization and also uh, india in its developing phase so what are the certain parameters or what can be the impediments uh, which are stopping it from developing so certain kind of discussion uh, like topics are given in the discussion which are very very easy to handle you just need to know about the topics and uh, how that knowledge will come you should go go and study newspapers you should go and study some sites websites uh, maybe gk today is a good example of the website it gives very minute details about uh, what is happening every every day so getting acquainted with the news on daily basis will give you a definite edge over other people in there so that is about group discussion part 1 so you have to choose between one of those two topics which the gto gives to you and then you can carry out the discussion be very very natural let others speak as well don't make it a fish market so you know you will get more time to speak if you make a fish market the gto won't be able to understand anything and you the group at a whole will be at a disadvantage so it's not good for anyone just try to make a contact with other people before the group discussion that you need to be very calm and let others speak as well okay then the in the second discussion you won't be given a choice between the topics you, there will be only one topic which will be given to you you have to pick one of the three leads and just start your discussion go on speaking and you can talk for how much time you want to provided that you don't cut any other person in between you have to listen to them as well so once your group discussion uh, task is over the next is a very very important exercise which we call as gpe the group planning exercise ladies and gentlemen there are certain uh, situations in the armed forces in where where the officers need to take the dis, uh, decision about the uh, about the certain uh, plan of action which they need to follow in the future for example in a war like situation before attacking a, an enemy territory and uh, you need to first you know uh, practice on a sand model you will be briefed about the situation about the whereabouts of the uh, terrorist or the enemy forces on the map so you need to plan and that planning is checked in the group disc- group planning exercise in here so how your planning skills are how you manage the resources how you basically uh, try to perceive the things are you able to prioritize the prioritize the situation so what happens i'll give you a brief view about it there will be a sand model okay generally it's generally a sand model or maybe it would be uh, a, a something on a cardboard so there will be a, a map map of a particular spot there will be roads canals and rivers they can be you know certain cities in their forests and some other things as well which you find in in your daily life so you will be a group of around 10 to 15 people who are just going in the uh, maybe in to for for going to a particular place for some work and your vehicle is just destroyed maybe it has uh, the tire has got punctured or something it stopped working so there is a tea stall uh, near to the near uh, nearby and you just decide to go have tea in there meanwhile when you are having tea a person comes running to you and he informs you about some miscreants who are you know anti social elements and also deciding to kill someone also you know uh, kill someone at a particular place which is farther uh, which is far quite far from where you are right now another person comes to you he tells that uh, he has heard some people who are trying who are just planning to blast a train which goes on from the uh, particular spot so like this there are at least four to five situations which need to be managed handled and solved after that you need to reach the particular destination which you were heading to and your you know unfortunately your vehicle got damaged so all these things need to be managed need to be solved with the available resources like the manpower you have you there are 10 to 15 of you you need to split and split them all in particular directions depending on the priority and also you need to just uh, 
make use of the resources available near you for example if you are in a town they, they will tell you that there is a hospital in there okay if it's a district it's very very you know uh, obvious that a district would be having such facilities like railway station hospital police station and all the like municipal corporation so all these things are there in a district so you need to be very very uh, observant and you need to make use of your common sense in there also you need to hear to the gto when he is telling about the situation because it's only once that he uh, recites what is uh, the situation what is going on in the map he'll tell you only about it once so you need to be very very vigilant and uh, at attentive when he uh, discusses and when he gives you information about the scenario after that what happens is that uh, once you are uh, once he is basically done uh, making you listen the scenario how the scenario is he'll ask you to write a uh, write the solution on the sheet of paper you will be given 10 minutes to jot down the solution and this solution will be comprising of uh, distributing a number of men uh, to particular situation how you will handle them you can write in either tabular form or uh, paragraph form finally once you are done doing that you can just go on uh, to pass your see- sheets and then there will be again a discussion in which you have to reach a common solution for the group once you are done discussing then you will be appointing a leader who will be just reciting the solution and it doesn't matter whosoever recites the solution the only thing is that how you cooperate to appoint the leader matters a lot okay if the if you are uh, good as a leader then the group will automatically appoint you because you have contributed a lot while discussing also it's better to keep silent than interrupting someone else you will get your chance to speak if the gto thinks that you can speak but you are not getting a chance he will point it out don't worry you should yeah definitely try, try to you know uh, give your point but not at the stake of interrupting someone else okay so this is about the group planning exercise then comes the third part the third test which is the progressive group task so the since uh, past two tests you were just you know uh, sitting at a particular place discussing and applying your mind on it and that's it that was it but now comes the physical part so this this test is a you know beautiful combination of how you use your mind and physical efforts to make your men through a particular phase through a particular situation so what happens there this test is on the ground and where there are certain obstacles so uh, you will be given certain helping materials like wooden plank wooden rod then a uh, rope and then there would be a load which you need to carry that load depicts that you have a you have an injured soldier with you so this basically test is a simulation of a war like situation in which you have need to create uh, you need to cross sorry certain obstacles uh, so in this is there is a starting line and there is a finishing line in between them there are certain obstacles using the uh, material which is, which are given to you you have to cross and let your team cross as well along with the materials so you need to be very very clear with some th- physics concepts in here like cantilever beam okay and some things like support and fulcrum and you can also refer to the videos by commander natranjan so they will be depicting this very well so after that after you know as you cross a certain obstacle as which is you know pgt1 the you will be processed to the next obstacle next set of obstacle which will be pgt2 as you progress there are total four P- pgts the dis- difficulties also keep on increasing so firstly the first pgt will be very easy then it will go on increasing and you need to be at you know the front end you need to help your teammates you need to give some ideas about the tricks uh, and you know how do you cross the how you will cross the uh, obstacles and you should be very very cooperative and uh, very very humble to your teammates because after all you know you are doing it as a group it's a group activity it doesn't matter that how you perform you know uh, it doesn't matter how you perform on individual basis yeah it matters up to some extent but finally it's the group which should be through 
and there will be other groups which will be uh, doing their PGT tasks as well. So you need to perform extraordinary and you know help your group to win. It's not a competition, but still, uh, you if your ideas are you know outstanding, then your group will be supportive of it, and you will be the major person who will be responsible for taking your group all along. So try to get it completed fast because it happens that you are uh, given around forty five minutes in total to complete all of the PGTs and due to certain conflict in the group and certain you know uh, confusions the group is not able to complete the task within the given time because of which the GTO is forced to you know uh, just seize the test and uh, on PGT 3 or 2 itself and just you know ask the group to proceed to the next test so be very fast and try to be supportive as well and it's the final group uh, you know passing the obstacle which matters and not the what you do on an individual basis so after that will be your next task which is known as the group obstacle race GOR or the snake race so in this race this is very very you know uh, nice task I would say you will enjoy a lot and there are certainly three to four groups you will be divided into that so uh, there are some certain obstacle like a six feet wall, eight feet wall, and all, and uh, you have to go through all the obstacles, taking a group group along. The only thing which you need to uh, realize and you need to uh, observe and keep in mind is that your you should first first of all not break any rule. Okay, the, there are different rules in there. Like you sh you cannot touch certain portions uh, on the obstacles and you cannot leave any teammate behind so these are some of the rules in there you can, you should not break any rule while doing the obstacles and also you should keep on motivating your team because that is what you know the, that that is the thing which just gives them a boost and gives them motivation to go ahead so it's a again a war like situation in which you are charging okay in which you are charging through the enemy territory and there are certain obstacles with the with the war cry which you will be deciding before the uh, this test commences you have to just recite the war cry so that there there is a certain josh in the in the group and they just progress along you know with that as the name says it's a race but essentially it's not a race we we also must think that uh, though there will be other groups competing with you to reach the finish line first but uh, what matters is how you help in basically getting your group ahead of the other groups how you uh, are supportive, how you cooperate of them. So these small things matter a lot in there uh, and not winning the race. But yes, you should always try to win the race because it will show that you are very, very competitive. So this is your, this will be your fourth task. And then will be the next task of the day, which is known as a half group task, HGT. So it's the same as the progressive group task, but as the name suggests, half group task so basically your group of 10 or 11 people whom how much ever you were will be divided into two groups okay of five each or five and six something so the idea of this group is that you know when performing in pgt you are comparatively larger in number so it's possible that you are not able to show yourself you know show your qualities but in this case you will be around five in number so it will be comparatively easier to you for you to display your qualities display and you know to, uh, also give your ideas and present them in front of your group maybe then your group will respect you so you can you know emerge as leader in half group task in a better way as compared to the progressive group task so the only idea is that so you know if you are not able to perform in pgt well don't worry you will get plenty of uh, chances ahead to perform and it's not only the one task which matter in the uh, whole GTO every task has its weightage and if you're not able to perform well in one task don't just give up don't get demoralized and you can perf perform certainly better in other tasks which will you know balance the balance your performance in the previous task so don't worry about it and next will be the final task of the day which is known as the lecture aid so it's kind of extempore in which you will get get around four topics uh, on a sheet of paper so in that what happens is you you will be asked to you know choose or pick one of 
the topics of your choice you'll be given three minutes to prepare on the topic and then three minutes again to speak on the topic so it's a pretty simple task provided that you have knowledge about the topic and you know in this gto your knowledge part matters a lot because knowledge is one thing which will uh, be helpful to you in the group discussion as well as the lecture aid so if you don't have knowledge you will be lacking points to speak and if you lack points then you know you will be speaking unnecessarily okay, out of the focus so in that case it will be not good for you so you should be thorough with the knowledge and the topics are gen in general there are different topics of different level so it's not like that all four topics which will be given to you will be of the same level they will differ so first of all uh, there is a high level topic then there is a medium level topic a low level average level low level so all these levels are there in the topics so you can pick any uh, topic but you should always remember that the topic must be of your forte you should be uh, able to speak on the topic flawlessly for three minutes okay so that is the day one of gto and now comes the day two of gto so this is the fourth day of your ssd 